Okay, this is the setup on the shaper. I removed the vise from the table and I uh, bolted my uh, scraped uh, toolmaker's block on the table. And now I took a parallel and I clamped it against the against the face of the toolmaker's block and I'm indicating it in so it's absolutely level to the travel of the machine. As you can see from this side of the machine, um, the indicator shows zero back here and zero in front here. So now we can lock it in place, tighten it down. This is just the parallel where the sign bar will rest on. And we'll go back just to the idiot check. Okay, that's good. Now we can remove the dial indicator. Use a short six millimeter stud. Screw this into the toolmaker's block. Make sure the face of this is clean. And also make sure these are properly tightened down. Make sure the face of this parallel is clean. And now I can just set the sign bar on top of the parallel, which is absolutely level, and have the sign bar sit on the parallel with its own rollers. Um, and I add a nut and I make sure that I keep pressure from my two fingers on top of the sign bar when I clamp it. It shouldn't need a whole lot of tension because we're only taking off maybe two or three hundredths of a millimeter. We're taking a very light pass just to clean up the top surface. Okay, I blew up the top surface so we can touch off with the tool. And we're only going to take a very shallow cut, uh, maybe five hundredths of a millimeter. So. Okay, there we go. We're barely scratching the blue paint. Let's clear the tool. Go down five hundredths of a millimeter and go for it. And as you can see, we really get a very, very nice surface finish. If I take something up, uh, you can almost see a shine on the surface. So this feels really like good surface. So let's take it out of the setup. And yes, it was only held in place with one six millimeter screw for machining. Um, that's well enough for such a light cut. No need for a uh, M12 screw and 200 newton meters of torque. So okay, I have a piece of paper here, and we're going to rub the sign bar with the freshly machined surface over it to get off all the fine grit and dirt. Same for the roller side. The paper almost acts like a super, super, super fine or um, mild abrasive to clean up surfaces. That's an old uh, grinder tip. The guys who run surface grinders know this. There we go. Now we have our dial test indicator here. We lower it onto the, the sign bar. Yeah, lower it, not raise it. Um, there we go. Quite, quite touchy. 
as one division of this thing is uh, two thousandths of a millimeter. That's one ten thousandth of an inch or something like that. Okay. The surface, uh, the, the, the gauge block is um, giving me a averaging surface so we don't get the surface noise from the shaper into our measurement. And we start here at zero. And yeah, that's more like it. Um, yeah, two thousandths of a millimeter left to right. That's pretty good. And it's on. So um, I'm just checking if it's tipping on the surface plate, but it's pretty stable. Um, yeah, quite happy. Two thousandths of a millimeter without a surface grinder. Um, <laughs> Okay, I finished them all on the shaper and checked them on the surface plate with the L test indicator to see the rough uh, ballpark in which I am. I always took the left end of the sign bar as zero and I measured across and the numbers you can read here are in thousands of a millimeter. So this one is from left to right, six thousands of a millimeter falling. This one is two thousands of a millimeter rising, one thousands of a millimeter rising, six thousands of a millimeter falling, six thousands of a millimeter rising, and two thousands of a millimeter falling. So Every one of these is better than one hundredths of a millimeter. Or in imperial measurement, each one of them is better than five thou... Uh, or in imperial words, each one of them is better than five ten thousandths of an inch. And I think that's... Uh, yeah, we're getting in the realm of tool making here. So, okay, this should be the last step on the sign bars. We're going to engrave them. I'm putting my initials and the year on them. And the setup on the engraving machine is the following. I have two precision uh, keys in, my, in the T-slots of the table to align the part. And I have a strap clamp as a stop here. So, Push the part up against the two keys and move it over against the, the clamp. And then I bring in two hold down clamps and brass shim. It doesn't need a ton of force for engraving. And the second one, just to be sure. Okay, there we go. Now we can do the engraving. There we go. Another one done. Uh, a few more to go. Okay, that's it for the second episode on the sign bars. We are we're done with them. They are finished. They are um, precise enough for what they are made for and. Uh, the last step in the next video will be to make wooden boxes for them. I want each of them to be in a nice wooden box. I have some hardwood here and some hardware, some hinges, some small box cover, uh, box uh, closers 
to make the boxes. And yeah, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll be back. <laughs>